This morning, the sports world waking up to a devastating blow. 49-year-old sports writer Grant Wall collapsing in the press box while he was covering the Argentina-Netherlands match last night. CPR was administered for several minutes, but Wall didn't make it. The Qatari government saying in part he received immediate emergency medical treatment on site, which continued as he was transferred by ambulance to Hamad General Hospital. The day before his death, Wall, a longtime soccer writer for Sports Illustrated, said on his podcast he'd been feeling ill for the last two weeks. I took some time off myself. My body, I think, told me, even after the U.S. went out, dude, you are not sleeping enough. And it rebelled on me. And so I've had a case of bronchitis this week. I've been to the medical clinic at the media center twice now, including today. His colleagues stunned. He was incredibly hardworking. He was very, very confident. Um, he was a really, really good writer, a very hard-nosed reporter. Uh, he went after stories with a confidence I definitely did not have. He, um, he believed in every word he wrote. Wall wasn't afraid to push boundaries. His final report, a rebuke of Qatar's World Cup organizers for their alleged mistreatment of migrant workers. He also made international headlines last month when he tweeted he was briefly detained by Qatari security for wearing a rainbow shirt to a match supporting gay rights. This was an issue that he thought was really, really important for him. It was a very personal issue, um, and he believed in it. This morning, athletes far and wide from LeBron James Megan Rapino expressing their devastation. U.S. Soccer releasing a statement that it was heartbroken. Wall's wife, prominent doctor Celine Gounder, responding, saying she was in complete shock. Now the U.S. State Department is working with Qatari officials, but meanwhile the World Cup games continue.